Peepa Piccolos! Since school's coming up again, band camp is coming up again for many of our marching band nerds. So, as I am going into my fourth year of marching band, fourth season, and am a section leader for the second time, I thought that I would help you out a bit by showing you what you can bring and what you can do to make it the best time of your life. Or at least, one of the best times of your summer. Okay, let's go! So, first of all, you might want to bring a nice big gym bag full of stuff. Have it all together in one piece. If you are bringing your food, have another food bag for food, but that's pretty much all you need in addition to your instrument. Be sure to bring or wear good shoes. Some very good sneakers with arch support that you will be able to run in. See the shoes I'm wearing right now? Not good at all. Don't wear Converse, don't wear Vans, don't wear Toms. Don't wear anything that has a flat sole like this. Or it's going to get all ground up in the dirt and you won't have any support for your feet. And heavens above, don't wear sandals. Slide left, slide. Step, slide. Eventually in the year, you are going to buy special marching shoes just for marching in shows and things like that. But if you already have a pair of these, you won't want to wear them during band camp because you want to save them for when you want to show them off on the field. So, just wear sneakers that you work out in. Next most important thing to bring during band camp is water. Now since you're going to be doing quite a bit of strenuous activity, at least half of it's going to be outside, you want to have hydrated before band camp, hydrate during the weeks of band camp, and hydrate plenty at band camp. Water. Don't drink a lot of soda or energy drinks or things like that. Drink juice and water. Mostly water. What you can bring, for instance, is a nice tumbler. This one's insulated, has a couple of layers. If you bring a tumbler to band camp, then you'll want to probably either refill it or bring many of these. You can also bring a giant jug of water like this, such as the ones that a certain floaty of mine would bring during multiple band camp seasons and band practice in general. It's a very smart move as you can bring it to practice and have pretty much all the water you need and more. Since this one isn't insulated though, you might want just want to bring half water, half ice. The ice will surely melt during practice. Also, you are going to have to deal with plenty of sun. So for especially sunny climates, especially when practicing marching, it's a good idea to bring a hat. Like this one, or this one. Anything that's going to shield your eyes from the sun, shield some of your skin from the, from the sun, and just help you be nice and cool during camp. You might want to save it for when you're actually marching though, as during things like stretching and physical training, you're going to be jumping up and down, like doing toe touches, things like that, and you don't want your head to fall off. Also, to protect yourself from the sun, you're going to want plenty of sunscreen. To put, another good idea is to put a wet washcloth into a bag, and that way you always just have something nice to cool off with. Because it's hot and you want to be nice and fresh, you're going to want to bring deodorant, bug spray, bring some of that. Trust me, if you bring this and there's like mosquitoes in whatever field you decide to march in, everybody will love you. Finally, so it's something that you don't per se bring but you wear, clothing. Don't wear jeans to band camp. Don't wear anything really warm in particular to band camp. Don't wear anything uncomfortable to band camp. You want to be nice, comfortable in the sun while you're working out. Workout clothing is really good. Short. I've often seen some of my friends wear those bandos and really loose tank tops over those and wearing them. That's very good. Depending on how cold it is in your area, you may or may not want to bring a hoodie for day waiting outside after band camp is over. Also, if you have long hair, you'll probably want to tie it back using a ponytail or a headband to keep it off your face, keep you cool again. Just make sure that you are comfortable and that you can do activity outside. So that's for the marching portion of our what to bring during band camp. And now here's for the music portion. In addition to your instrument, which you absolutely must not forget on the days to tell you to bring an instrument, fill it with clear pockets in which you put your show music and whatever other music. 
this is good because if you rehearse outside, then you can just bring one of these and you won't have your music flying absolutely everywhere. You also want to bring binder clips to actually hold your pages back so you can read it and play. Bring a pencil and a highlighter. Multiple times, the director is going to t tell you to mark something in your music, and people are going to be frantically taking their music out and writing something, and some people are even more frantically going to be asking their peers for a pencil. Don't be one of those people. And highlighter to mark certain things, which you can even mark right above the cover pages. Now, depending on the smearability of what you have, it might even be a good idea to bring some sort of a gel pen or filter pen to mark right on the cover slip so you don't have to take your pages out and back in, but make sure that it'll stay there for a while and not smear off. You should also include some loose leaf paper and some staff paper because you might be adding, changing some music as it goes along. For more help, if you only have a few years on your instrument or you don't know all of the notes of your show yet, you'll want to bring a fingering chart as well. So I've basically given you the rundown of this entire backpack of things to bring for band camp. So what do we actually do, Christina, when we get there? It's so scary. Ah, it's really not incredibly scary. To prepare fully for band camp and get the full experience out of it, you will want to, one, eat and drink well before and during band camp and even during much of the marching season. Eat plenty of carbs, not a lot of junk food. Marching is a lot of endurance. You want to be fully energized and not really hungry. But you'll also not want to be stuffed either because you're going to have to keep the same position for a while. So make sure that you're fully satisfied but you don't get sick. And I cannot stress this enough. Drink water before, during, after, all the time. Not so much that you have to get up and go to the bathroom in five minutes during band camp. But a lot. Two. Take care of your instrument. I know this is a bit late to say this, but you'll want to practice throughout the summer. Practice the show, look over it, make sure you know it. But not just the show. You want to work on your sound, listen to your sound, make sure that you have a good sound, make sure that you fully know your sound, so that when you get to the point of combining your sound with that of other instrumentalists, you can already fit in well with the band and you know what to listen for. And you have a good tone. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people sometimes have multiple instruments for band. You don't, don't want to bring your very, very expensive instrument because a lot of things can happen during marching band. I've seen instruments get dropped while marching. I've seen instruments get trampled upon while marching. You may drop it in the bleachers or something. Just make sure that it isn't the one that you paid $10,000 for off the internet and got engraved with leaves and things like that. But at the same time, um, you don't want it to be the one that you paid $100 for either. Just make sure that it has a good sound, but it wouldn't be the most expensive thing to repair. So for the actual show itself, go through it a few times, make sure you know what the notes basically are. A good idea is to find the music of the show online and listen to it so that you know how your sound will fit in everybody else's sound before band. Your director will probably give you a site on which you can find your show, but if they haven't, just Google the name of your show along with the same marching band arrangement, and you'll probably find it. This is a very common site for marching band arrangements. Three. During camp, you are going to learn so much, and you are going to have very little time to learn it and get it down. So you're going to want to spend as little time repeating it as possible during camp. So when you are at home, during the weekend, before or after camp, on the days of camp, practice a little bit. Go over, watch yourself in the mirror, do the different commands. Don't worry if it looks funny to your parents. Go! And one, and two, and three, lock, one. What are you doing? Um... If your siblings say anything, you can just say that you're trying to run them over. Um, just look at your posture, march down your hallway, march with your instrument. Just make sure that you are practicing outside of camp 
so that you remember it when you get back to camp and when you get back to practice when school begins again. Number four. Kind of goes with number three. Okay, the purpose of band camp is to introduce you to marching band, introduce you to the group, but also to teach you how to march and get you ready to learn the show. You will learn many things that you will need to use throughout the season. And each thing that you learn is going to have a very specific purpose within the way that you march the show. So every bit of time that your instructors have to teach you counts. So make sure that you pay attention. Your brain needs to be on, be alert, and do what they tell you to do. It had taken me some time during my freshman sophomore years, but I'd figured out that, oh, yeah, this thing taught us how to do and that it kind of spaced out during when I was learning how to do it. I actually need to use it. And oh, like this actually works for this thing. So trust me, you're going to need each and everything they teach you for the entire season forward. Five. So connect with people, make friends. If you're in band, you're automatically an awesome person. Trust that you're automatically an awesome person. Band people are some of the coolest people that you are ever going to meet. Just trust in your inner awesomeness. Reach out to the people in your section. That is going to be your family within a family for the next few months, if not the next couple of years. The marching band will have several different, say, factions of students. You are going to have the incredibly excitable and bonding color guard. You're going to have the really egotistical brass section. You're going to have the slightly insane woodwind section. You're going to have the percussion section, which nobody really understands. The drum majors are really friendly, but have their own little thing going on at the same time. And we all like joke about having a competition and having like a certain totem pole and things like that. But really, we're also just all friends together. We're all just working together to make our marching band the best it can be, and to be there for each other during high school in general. So make friends within your section, but also outside of your section. Although marching band may have include people from all these different areas of life, they're all just as passionate about music as you are. And so you're going to have the best time. Everything that I might have told you about before might give you some kind of picture of marching band having this like strict disciplinary you need to do this cer a certain way sort of thing. And while when you're actually working on the show, you will need to pay attention, you will need to do what others tell you to do. You will need to work very, very hard. You don't need to be nervous about band. Everybody here is here to help you. The directors, the staff, the drum majors, the section leaders, and the upperclassmen all really want to help you succeed here. So don't be afraid to go to ask them for help if you have trouble with something. Every marching band is going to be different, and I can't tell you exactly how to succeed in everywhere. So while you're working and want to take the work seriously, chill out and have fun during the times that you can chill out and have fun. And you will have such a good time. Question of the day is, are you in marching band? And if so, what instrument do you play? And if you are not in marching band, Tell them what you're doing with your school year. I'm really interested. Put that in the comments below. In addition, if you have any questions about marching band that you want me to answer, or if you have any experiences with marching band and band camp that you want to share, put those in the comments below as well. This past summer, I took a trip to Massachusetts, and I have been vlogging every single day, and so in a little bit, there's going to be this series of vlogs that I did. It's going to be super fun, and I had a fantastic time. And I hope you guys check it out in the future. So, have fun at band camp. Work hard. Do awesome stuff. Keep rocking your world. And I will see you later. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you subscribe, like, and comment. We will be best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. Comment about your life. Did you know that this fight song is also another school's fight song?